it's finally here the first episode of she hulk attorney at law and i watched it i'm going to do my review for it and i am one to admit when i am wrong i will admit i was wrong i thought this was going to be bad and oh my god it was worse than i could possibly have imagined it was so horrendously awful. This first episode alone was was worse than the two episodes of Miss Marvel that I watched. And you know how I feel about Miss Marvel. This was so bad. It's not even funny. This entire thing. Ah. Let me go through this review for this. And I will break down the things that they that they, that they just didn't seem to give a shit about when they were making this. So we get into this. And we meet Jennifer Walters. She's a lawyer prepping for some um, final um, remarks she has to give in a court case. Then she does the um, fourth wall breaking thing to, to let you all know that, you know, she's a Hulk and goes back to how she became a Hulk. So a couple months ago, she was taking a road trip with her cousin Bruce. Several questions arise there. One, why were you taking a road trip with Bruce? Two, what was the reason for it? Three, why the hell would anybody believe you just suddenly taking a road trip with, with the Hulk? Hmm? There are other questions, but those three seem the most prevalent at the beginning. Now, Bruce isn't Hulk, eh? Because he takes 10 seconds, well, not even 10 seconds, more like 5 to, to explain that he built some kind of prototype inhibitor thing that allows him to turn back into banner and you know nobody cares about that because it's more important for, for for jennifer to get back to her virgin shaming of captain america who if not for captain america your god awful show would not exist but why care about that let's continue and this is just and, and thinking about it as this series has, 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 the first episode in this series, practically every time, every woman, mostly Jennifer Walters, but every woman opens their mouth. It's about how much they literally hate men. Honestly, it's about literally how much they hate men. And they try to depict men in this first episode alone as some of the worst scum to ever crawl the face of the earth. I'm telling you, it's it, it's that transparent and that bad. So while Jennifer is virgin shaming Captain America, all of a sudden, and she isn't paying attention to the road, all of a sudden, a spaceship appears in front of them. Apparently, it's a Sakaran spaceship that came for some reason. Um, Paul kind of mentions it, but never really um, talks about the reason for it. But it's it, it's such a cliched, stupid move. And suddenly, while you are talking, a spaceship shows up in front of you. She swerves to go up the road. They hit the thing and go flipping over, but the car crashes. Them rolling down hill and all of that car crashes. She comes out of car crash with, with, with a little scratch on her arm and some little, um, you know, some little dirt and thing on her. She crawls out of the car crash very heroically, then goes over to the other side. Literally almost rips the door off right pulls out bruce and while he's bleeding he's there telling her get away from me i'm bleeding and like two little drop of blood get into the open wound on her arm and suddenly you start to see her watching her hands there see some green thing passing through her veins and then all of a sudden she starts to hulk out and if you thought that the that the cgi looked bad in the in the trailers it looks worse in the series i don't know how it's possible the same but it literally looks worse in the series she she hugs out grows big and and, and lingy and thing like some kind of praying mantis stumbles off into the woods and then bruce bruce's inhibitor breaks so he starts to hulk out too and you know next thing you see she's lying somewhere in the woods there back as jennifer goes over to some bar 
that having something that goes into the ladies' room and starts cleaning up, and then all of a sudden, this gaggle of women come in. You don't know if they're working girls, they're just out on the tongue, whatever, they come in, and they see her. And the first, you, know, you would think they would say, well, what happened to you? Are you okay? No, no, the first thing they start to do is man bashing. Girl, he doesn't deserve you. Look what he did to you. And they start, they start trying to put makeup onto her and all kind of thing. And, and you don't need this girl. And, and I'm sitting there watching this thing like, what the shit is going on here? What is really going on? And then all of a sudden, she's like, um, she needs to borrow one of their phones. Everybody puts on their phone. Yeah, girl, you can use mine. So she calls Bruce. She goes outside the bar there waiting for him to show up. Some guys come out of the bar. She, she glances over at them and then automatically tries to, tries to shield herself. Because all of a sudden, because apparently, as they put, as they put it in the show, all men are scum. So the guys go, the guys go over to her and they're like, um, hey, hey, are you okay? Um, everything all right? And she's, yeah, I just waiting on my boyfriend. And, 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 you know, they try hitting on her. Normal behavior, they know, they, some men are out drinking and things, they try hitting on her. She tried to walk away and they're like, come on, let's just talk with other thing. Next thing you know, she hulks out, grows tall, and just leave me alone. And it's not even scary or intimidating. She in her hulk form just looks weird and stupid. That's the only way to put it. Just looks weird and stupid. Once again, reinforcing my thought and what I've said constantly that you did not need CGI, you could have gotten somebody to play. She Hulk, a, a, a muscular um, actress, not 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 bodybuilding, huge muscles, but somebody with some muscles and a good figure to play She Hulk, that would have gone over better. It would have made her transformations and everything more dramatic and make it look better. No, so she freaks out on them and all, roar them, start screaming. And next thing you know, Hulk tackles her. When next we see her, she wakes up in some um, some some lab. Some, some house in, in Mexico and goes down these stairs. Apparently, there's a secret lab down there. It's where it's apparently Tony Stark built it for Bruce so he could um, deal with um, training, with um, finding a way to control his Hulk, his Hulk side. So then you see, well, Hulk is, well, Bruce is back as Hulk now, Smart Hulk. And, and I'll, get in, I'll get into why Smart Hulk doesn't work in a minute. Eh? But so he's there. And he tells her that, you know, his, his blood got into her and she think and apparently they both have some genetic condition that, um, that, that, in, that she got a lethal dose of, radi- of gamma radiation. But because they both have some kind of genetic condition that, that allows their bodies to process gamma radiation better than anybody else, she's, she's turning into a Hulk and not, um, you know, stuff. And she's all, oh, she wants to get back to her life. And he's telling her, well, you know, you can't. You can't go back to your life. You have to learn how to control it. And he decides to help her learn to control her, um, her, her, her um, Hulk abilities. Next thing you know, we do the um, you know, they have this scene where, where she's in this um, kind of glass enclosure kind of thing, and he's sending these rotating blades at her. She transforms, pushes it back, breaks down the door, and comes out. And he's there trying to talk to her to calm her down. And she's like, "Why are you talking to me like that?" Turns out now that she has, she is perfectly in control of her Hulk form. She has no alter ego, no nothing like that. I mean, we know this is this is par for the course when it comes to, um, you know, Jennifer Walters as being a She-Hulk. The, 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 the problem is, whether it be in comics, whether it be in the animated series, whatever, whenever Jennifer Walters transforms into She-Hulk, her, she still maintains her reasoning and thing, but her personality does change. She becomes more confident. She becomes more, um, you know, cool and outgoing. Fine. This doesn't happen this time. She remains the same obnoxious, infuriating, man-hating bitch that she has been from the start of this show. It's serious. And, and Hulk is all there about how... Um, Oh, he can't believe this. There's nobody else in there fighting with you. He's kind of jealous and all this. And I'm like, oh, God, Father, Smart Hulk is just so stupid. So ridiculously stupid. He sounds nonsensical all the time. So he decides to, to help her learn to control her abilities and stuff. They go to do some meditation. And she has to, she has to talk about how meditation is all this and, and it's all hogwash. And he tells her that, you know, it's scientifically proven and all of this. 
they go out to do some um some training he, he does the whole thing where, where, where he's um trying some um, different yoga poses she does it effortlessly he throws a rock she, she, throws, she throws a boulder she throws it further he picks up a bigger one and throws it even further because you know he's trying to show off that you know i'm a man and i'm better and you could tell that what was that was intentionally put in there for that purpose and when he's trying to, to, to do this thing, like when she's sleeping and he uses the air horn to wake up and she still transforms and thing and she's still in control okay then we get to the part where he's telling her that you know um this this is not a it's not a game you have to learn to be in control all the time because if you lose it anything could happen you could kill somebody your friends and family will always be in danger and then she starts over oh, oh, you know um here's the thing i'm great at controlling my anger i do it every time whenever i get cat called in the street whenever some man tries to explain things to me like i'm an idiot or uh, and if i react i'll be considered emotional and maybe even killed and this and i'm watching and you could tell that this series is written by a bunch of women in their late 30s with no man honestly you, you, you could tell that from this episode alone you could tell that this series is written by a bunch of women in their late 30s with no man every aspect is something about how much they hate men how awful men are how men are bastards everything everything they do it to hulk and all and, and, and to be perfectly honest with you the more you the more you see hulk in this the worse he looks in the in the early mcu days when it was still somewhat when 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 it is you see mcu was in, it, was in its in its high point hulk was interesting hulk looked better now he just looks stupid his songs are annoying and the more you see him the more, the more you wish you wouldn't honestly the more you wish you wouldn't he keeps nagging her constantly about how she needs to be a superhero and she has to be a superhero and she has powers and she could be a superhero and she could be a superhero he comes across he comes across like your annoying neighbor who wouldn't shut up if you just happen to meet them outside and you're trying to get somewhere and they wouldn't stop talking that's exactly how hulk how smart hulk comes across in this aggravating and annoying and she bought how she doesn't want to be a superhero she just wants to be a lawyer and get back to her life and i'm thinking to myself just let her go for god's sakes why are you wasting any time with this woman just let her leave but she doesn't want to do that and then eventually no she decides that she's going to go she gets into the jeep and looks up and looks to leave he tries to stop her and they have this they have this ridiculous hulk fight that does nothing other than it's just happening to show man hulk fighting woman hulk that's all it is it it it, it, it proves nothing it is not it is not it is not useful for anything nobody cares what's happening with it nobody's interested in what in whatever crap they're trying to do it just it is just man hulk versus woman hulk and nobody business he does the um hulk does the thunder clap sends her back she tries to do it it doesn't work but then she starts slapping her hands together and it starts causing these um these song waves you know, that, that, that starts to, that starts to hurt all kind of going on the ground it's a little stop and she keeps doing it and then tries to leave it's it's really ridiculous and it all leads up to nothing because in the end he tells her okay you know um if she really wants to go she could go but it's up but you always welcome here she could come back anytime it's not a problem he's look he, he, he's always here for it and she's, she's okay thanks girls and go and, and, and i'm like so you all had to take all this time just for that shit really when we make it back to the present now because you know she's finished breaking the, the fourth wall which she does like three times in this one episode alone let me get back to it now she's in she's in court and here the thing it, 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 it's her this next male lawyer that they that they've purposely depicted as an asshole because his man is depicted as an asshole and her paralegal best friend who is her who's a big supporter knows that she's a hulk and everything you know you know making sure that they, that, 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 that they could that they could show that you know woman power and all of this crap so they're in court and she gets up to give her um, closing remarks when all of a sudden 
the wall breaks down and um, Titania comes in. Why? We don't know. She just breaks into the courtroom. We don't know the reason for it. There's no build-up for it whatsoever. She just busts in there, starts throwing, throw some tables around, throw two guards, and then all of a sudden, um, her, her friend tells her that, you know, she needs to do her thing and she's okay, fine. And then she tells her, wait, your shoes. She takes off her shoes, goes for her. Then she transforms into Hulk. Well, well, into She-Hulk. And again, it looks absolutely stupid. The CGI looks terrible. Even when she was on the island training with, training with, with Bruce and she, she does the whole um, Hulk jump thing, she just looks like a long, lingy, praying mantis-like creature. It doesn't look good at all. So she transforms. And, you know, um, Titania is all like, who the hell are you? And she's She-Hulk, attorney at law. Then next thing you know, Titania does a jump kick in the air, she catches it and punches her, flies, she flies into the wall, bam, that's the end of it. She transforms back into Jennifer Walters, puts back on her, um, her shoes and then it's all, um, you know, I'm ready to give my closing statement. And of course, what better song to, what better song for, for them to play than Eve, Who's That Girl? This was, and, and that's it, you know, that, that's it, that's the entire episode. 35 minutes of man-hating, terrible, sh terrible CGI, non-existent story, ridiculous origin story, and just utter and absolute cringe-worthy crap. But of course, you know, they have to take the um the, 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 the so-called high road because the because reviews for it are in and, and everybody pretty much agrees it's crap. They start talking about, you know, review bombing and that, you know, um, um, men hate it and all kind of thing. This show is garbage, and I'm I'm wondering honestly who this is even for. Who is this show even for? MCU fans, no. Women, no. Superhero fans, no. Who is this show even for? The first episode out the gate, and it's terrible. Because just keep in mind, this this was the same show that, that that even the people who were working on it said that everybody was going to hate. That. People who are working on this said everybody's going to hate this. But this is this is the first episode for it. It's terrible. It's worse. The first this is the first episode that was worse than the first two episodes of Ms. Marvel. But am I might go I'm gonna watch it, you know, because I, I already know I could get nine videos out of this and every one's gonna be worse than the next because if this if this is how you start off, I don't have any kind of hope for how you're going to end up at all. It's terrible, just totally, totally terrible. That's it for that. That's it for the first episode review of She Hulk. Let me know in the comments if you have a different opinion. If you've seen it, if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.